Hi everyone, I'm Irene Bru, a grad student from the University of Murcia in Spain, and with my colleague Jorge Gallego, we are presenting our latest work about the integration of machine learning models within the Linux kernel using APF. The combination of these two tools have enormous potential as it can improve the accuracy of packet processing solutions and classify packets based on compressed criteria. It also provides scalability and adaptation to changing environments as machine learning algorithms can be refined and learn from past experiences. However, there are still some challenges as EAPF programs loaded into the kernel have no access to external libraries, no support for unbounded loops or floating point operations, and they follow a passive event-based model. These have made it difficult to implement machine learning algorithms into the Linux kernel using eBPF, and in particular, no work implementing a neural network as we are proposing today in this presentation has been found in the literature. So our proposal is to train these models using Python machine learning library scikit-learn, and then to transform the neural network into ACC code using mlearn tiny ML library. With this, we can obtain a rise with the weights and biases of each layer of the network. However, we still have to adapt the C code of the library to make it acceptable by eBPF. And in particular, we need to address the restriction about the floating points, the loops, and the memory sharing between execution, as we explained before. The last step will be to merge this solution with a header parsing process to obtain information from the network. So our proposal to avoid these restrictions are to uh, use fi a fixed point representation to substitute the floating points. This means using 32 bits integer to represent the floating, floating points using one bit for the sign, 16 bits for the integer part, and 15 bits for the fractional part. To avoid the sigma function that is usually used in the last layer of classification neural networks, we can take into account that it's a continuous and strictly increasing function, so we can make the classification by just comparing its inputs. About the loops, we can load them into the kernel and vault. And about the hardware parsing process, it's really important to check the memory access boundaries to ensure that we are not accessing to a forbidden part of the kernel. Finally, about the event-driven behavior, we can use eBPF maps to uh, store information between executions. IoT security in wireless sensor network was the selected use case to demonstrate our solution. We prepared a data set using Kuya Simulator to recreate an IoT scenario with devices implementing six Lopan and Ripple. This scenario focuses on the detection of the Hello Food attack on the Ripple protocol. The goal is to determine if I know this malicious or not, which is a binary classification uh, protocol. Regarding the employed machine learning algorithm, we have selected multi-layer perceptron models, giving their flexibility and accuracy to analyze traffic and detect anomalies. After several tests with different configuration, we adopted a model with two hidden layers. In each layer, the ReLU function is used and the sigma function is employed at the end. With this, we obtain a good results aggregating the data in windows of 1, 5, and 10 seconds. The experiments were conducted using a computer to generate the traffic using TCP replay and a Raspberry Pi uh, 3 uh, to run the eBPF program, which processes the received packets and executes the neural network. Besides the, this full internet implementation, another version of the program was developed to decouple the neural network from the parsing mechanism and execute it in user space. In this way, we can compare the performance in both places. Here, you can see the two main outcomes of the experiments. On the left, you can see that although very similar, the CPU consumption using the internal implementation is lower than the user space one. On the right, you can see the execution time of the neural network in both implementations, depending on the time window uh, chosen. There is a notable decrease in the execution time when it is run in kernel space, and this is because we know that the uh, code can run faster in this privileged context. Uh, we consider the res these results uh, to be relevant as they show the advantages of executing a uh, complex task within the Linux kernel. As conclusions, we successfully developed a classification MLP for the kernel by using eBPF, including generalization capabilities. This provides a solid groundwork for the integration of machine learning techniques within the network data plane. As further work, uh, we are researching on other optimization techniques and machine learning models, as well as uh, its inclusion in specialized hardware. Besides, we want to test its uh, performance in a production environment. And um, well, thanks for your attention and we'll be happy to answer questions in the chat.